Hello Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into Hedrus Tarot with me Deborah. Thank you so much for coming in and clicking onto the video here on YouTube. We are looking at the fourth week of August for you. I'm using the Sacred Oracle Traveler, which you can see over here, and I want to see where you are in your journey in life. I actually want to see also what is going to be coming in for you in this new month that's coming in, which is September. I always feel like the change of season months, which are like either September, spring or autumn or fall, wherever you may be. These are our major times in our life of change. And for us to even review our own lives and see what it is we want to look at and how we want to change things in our world. Perfect timing to do that. But let's see for you guys. Taurus, my beautiful energies out there i love always the taurus energy whenever i come in here you guys are so um the energy whenever i read the energy of taurus i always pick up this really like steady energy um and i like it it's so grounding but let's get in here let's see what's going on with you and by the way guys if you do want to have a personal reading with me there is a link in the description box below it is an email i'm um, actually not a link it's an email and um if you want to have one with me please email me i am doing video call readings which are so fun i'm literally booked up for this week i think i'll only have another one maybe on the weekend maybe and um they're so amazing i've been reading for people from all over the globe it is so fun. Um, if you want to uh, have one of those, contact me below. We'll, we'll send you information on how that is done. Otherwise, let's get in here. We've got cleansing waters, overcoming an obstacle, Taurus, and faraway places. Okay, uh, Taurus, let's talk. <laughs> uh, you have been through a massive change in your life here. Yeah, something quite painful has happened in your world. I'm going to show you the cards now. You, you're out of it. I feel like there's a tower card here in some way or the other. There's like a tower card energy. Um, and you out of it. It has already taken place. You've already been hurt. You've been through quite a bit here. And um, you're still trying to heal. And at the same time, you feel finding it a bit difficult to, to get through this stage. And you're moving into unknown territory. I feel like there's this energy of somebody who maybe was like married for not all of you guys. Married for like 20 years, you know. And all of a sudden over you know and you now in this territory of just trying to put everything together in your mind i see a little tissue there <laughs> trying to put everything together in your mind about um what is happening to you how you're gonna remake yourself almost like um let's go let's look at these oracle cards i'm um, cleansing water it does talk about purification that activates vibrant life force okay it's a card of needing to heal it's a card of needing to remove everything out of you. It's like uh, you need to have a Reiki <laughs> session, you know, go to the, go and have them pull it out of you. They'll pull it out of you like this. You know what I mean? Yeah, people can do that. Hey, and um, literally let them pull that out of you. You can even do it yourself. I'm just saying I'm not a Reiki expert, but I'm a witch. Okay. So you can even when you feel pain in yourself you, and you feel like you're sad, you can even pull it out and throw it away you know what I mean we would do that like on a very windy day outside go stand out there and just let the wind take it that's how we work with it um you still got some things that you need to solve here like for some of you guys if you are going through like a divorce you might still have to be facing a divorce case or dealing with how you're going to be moving forward because it says you're overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything I mean, for not all of you guys, this can be something else as well. It can be like uh, ending of a, uh, your career, your job has come to an end. And now you're facing this obstacle of having to figure out how you're going to move forward. And this is you trying to be like, how am I, how am I going to do this? How am I going to remake myself? How am I going to live this new life that I'm just not used to living? And this is the feeling of this unknown territory where the faraway places says you get ready for new horizons. So I'm going to honestly tell you from what I can see in this reading, it looks to me like some part of your life has ended and um, you're now moving into a new way of being. It does feel very unusual for you. It does feel like you just don't know what to expect. Like if you were married, would you ever meet anyone again? How are you going to be when you're on your own? Um, oh, that's just not going to happen. Whoa why look at this naughty girl why 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 are you doing weird things she's so good she's been running around the house the whole day crying and screaming and making noise the whole day 
Why? What, what is up with you today? Do you want more attention? Maybe she just wants some snacks. You want snacks? <laughs> Most probably. That could be it. She's my fattest cat of all. She's so heavy. Oh my goodness. Don't tell her I just said she was fat. But anyway, you should go back to the reading. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's have a look and see here what is going on. Yeah, that was it. There's an ending. There is an ending. There is an ending. The awakening card has come up here. That is the judgment call. Um, the judgment card. And this is a it's an indication of you having ended a period in your life, a time in your life, it is over. I don't think you will be going back here. Not with a judgment card. You know, maybe you already know you're moving forward. Let's see. But you got a sun card. You're moving towards happiness. I like to see the sun card. Yes. You have many choices to make. That is it. That is it. This is this energy of getting ready for new horizons here. You've got new choices that need to get made, new directions that you need to look in. You're going to have to really use your noggins over here. You're going to have to use your intelligence. You're going to have to really be focused with the Queen of Swords coming in here. Got your lover's card as well. So for some of you guys, this was a relationship that came to an ending. And if you ask, don't burn yourself by the candle. What is wrong with you today? Why? Um, if you have asked, if you've come out of a long-term relationship and you asking yourself, um, am I going to be with another person? I think this is a sign in the reading that you are, but that's hot. Don't do that. What is going on with her today? Um, the two of pentacles is this as well. Totally all of these energies. You're still figuring out things as you're moving forward here. You're still figuring out like, how am I going to do things? There's still things that I need to work out. There's still stuff that I need to work on my healing. There's a lot of things going on here. But I do feel, honestly, we've got a sun card here. I feel like you're heading towards your happiness, you know? I feel like you're heading towards your happiness. You're heading towards a place where you're going to be at peace. You're heading towards a place where the sun is shining in your world. And I feel like um, this is a very positive energy. I wonder what other mischief she's going to go and get up to now. I can just imagine. But this energy with the Queen of Swords here is going to be you really focusing on the future. And making decisions and making new choices, especially with the Seven of Cups coming in here, about what it is you want to have next in your life. A lot of the choices that you're going to be looking at is literally going to be your happiness. And absolutely, I agree with that 150%. Go and make decisions about how, what is going to make you happy in life here release whatever has been and i can see if you are wondering about love yes there will be love in your future um if you're just wondering if you're on the right path say you have a career situation yes your path will is right now even though unfortunately sometimes we have situations where we have endings and things take place in our life and we don't want them we're like no no i don't want this this is not what i want to face right now it's not what i want to be doing right now but um sometimes where we were it wasn't so great either and we kind of get used to being in a place where we're not really happy but we settle for it anyway and the universe may have bigger plans for you god the, the universe whatever you may call it might have bigger plans for you magician card fell into my lap really need to focus here if they might have bigger plans for you there may be another part of the journey that you don't know about that's still coming in in your life here and um, it's like they're taking you there you are going to be receiving or there's going to be either some kind of information that comes in here or there's something that comes up with regards to um relief of some kind it's like you feel better or a new direction opens up or information gets revealed or an opening something positive takes place um because you've got a two of pentacles a bit of worry there and it is uncomfortable both of these energies i feel like something happens that allows you to remove whatever the obstacle is for you um, it can be removing of a way that you're feeling or even an actual problem that you're facing so let's get in here and have a look and see look at your star and your sun card we want to let's let's do this let's do this i'm actually really curious the hierophant coming in here and the lovers card again you got taurus you got your own energy coming in this reading we're going to see what lies under the deck on the other let's check the other deck being kind of flexible in your reading if you notice that um with this hierophant coming in we got a star card let me tell you everything that you've been through the Hierophant is coming in. So that means everything that you've been through, all the situations that you're facing, even what you're going through right now, these are wisdom energies coming in. These are the energies of life 
teaching you so much, you know. Um, it's not fun sometimes to be taught lessons by life. We don't want to be taught them, but they come in and do it anyway. It's because you need to get yourself leveled up here a little bit. Sometimes when things go wrong in our life, you know, we may have a goal or a dream that we want to reach. We have a, maybe we go, I really want to have this relationship and the one that I'm in is not really okay but we stay anyway because you know we there it's a person that we know we go well, I'll just settle for this it's what it is and we end up settling for something that's not really this that's not really you know the Aquarius energy coming in here Gemini Aquarius and your own zodiac and it's not really what you really would like to have in a relationship but you go maybe this is what I've been given so I mustn't look a gift horse in the mouth I don't want to be single what if I let this person go and I don't have anything and I'm alone forever and um, we settle for it but somewhere deep down we're not really happy and then sometimes you know you have an idea of what you want with a star card but you're not getting it and at the same time the universe keeps on wanting to give you what you want because we manifest it we manifest what we want with the magician card coming in here and i feel like this is a message for you with regards to what happened before um if the person was out of alignment with you i feel like the person that is coming in here is going to be in alignment with you or the life that you're heading towards is is, is going to be in balance where you may be out of balance now and came from an out of balance situation and um, you can get this you are capable you are ready you have everything you need and you will be fine because you are, you literally got amazing cards on this table. You have a Hierophant with a Magician card, with the sun and the stars. This is growth and happiness and stability and literally being able to reach a goal that you're trying to reach here. And it is going to come in and it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. I always like to look at... Um, I like the Hierophant. With regards to anything that I have to overcome, I go Hierophant. The moment I face any kind of problem, big or small, um, it can be a big problem and then I'm facing, it's like the boss level. You know what I mean? It's like every time you face a problem, you must overcome it. We need to change how we view life. We need to change how we feel about things. Every single time you're facing a problem, you have to say to yourself, oh, I'm about to level up. I'm going to go to the next level. Life is like a video game. You're going to overcome this. You're going to solve whatever this is. You're going to beat that level. And then you're no longer level 22. You're now level 23. You're getting, you're not a noob anymore in life. You're becoming a hierophant in life, not a noob. And then you're going to be even stronger, better than where you have been. This is how it is. Okay. And this is life. This is how it is. The more difficulties you're facing, the higher up you raise, the bigger the problem, now you're on boss level, okay, the higher you're going to jump in the understanding and the strength that you have inside. This is why you get the bigger prizes. This is how you get to the bigger stuff. To get to the big prizes, you need to overcome the levels. You got two lovers card in this reading. It either means a balance restored in your life because the two of pentacles shows a lack of balance. It can be you finding your path, you knowing who you are, you going in the direction you're meant to be going in and you finding out who you are. And it can also be um, a person. It can be a relationship that comes in. This is a very long term relationship. This is the one. Okay, there's a loving, caring relationship. So let's see what lies underneath here. You will let this go. Yeah, well, let it go. Let it go. I'm not singing the Elsa song, but you got to let it go. The Ten of Wands. It is too much. There's happiness for you in the future. Three of Cups. Yes, there is happiness. There is it in the Sun card as well. You got to let this all go. You got to let the past go. Work on your healing here. That is the Ten of Wands. You will come out of a difficult time and you will thrive. You will find your happiness, even though this is unmarked territory, unknown territory. But literally, it's unknown to you. But your soul has already planned the route for you to get there. Keep going in this direction. Everything on the journey will be solved. Everything on the journey is going to get you to the place where you need to be the happiness the love that you're looking for there we go thank you so much Taurus this is a beautiful reading and a very eventful one with my cat doing gymnastics all over the countryside but anyway thank you so much I'm sending my love to you guys bye